is up y'all how are you guys doing today as you guys can see behind me there is a frozen pond and we are gonna be fishing that frozen pond today now this might be a little bit sketchy because yesterday as you know we fished for walleye and it was just like raining the whole entire day and it's gonna be like 60 degrees out today so this is definitely gonna be interesting Leo and Tim are over here we're actually gonna put Tim on the water out first just to, he's gonna give it a little test here definitely looks a little bit sketchy as you guys can see here there's like some water around the edges right there definitely not the safest looking but I mean as long as there's at least four inches we should I mean we should be good all right guys this is the uh this is set up today I'm gonna have this little dock team and you guys remember this from my dick sporting goods challenge and then I also have one of my fluger reels on it let's see if Tim <laughs> this is the moment of truth we're gonna see if he falls through the ice right here how's it feel I don't like that noise he made. <laughs> you mean that looks extremely sketchy. Oh god. We will wait until Tim does a little. Oh yeah, watch out! There's a hole right in front of you right there. Super thick. Super thick. Super thick. Super thick. Eight inches. Eight inches. Eight inches. We're good to go, man. Savage Tim Gladio. <laughs> He's ice skating out there. All right, man. Pretty much, guys. This is my second time ever ice fishing. Once was in the Poconos a couple months ago when it was like over a foot. This is my second time. Penguin. <laughs> the wait, can you show me that penguin walk again? Dude? Yeah, good, good. <laughs> the Leo Shea Penguin Walk. Yo, dude, I don't know what it is. I still feel a little bit sketched out over here, man. <sighs> Guys, man, this is just this is just awesome. Up here in New York, sunrise. Whoa, whoa, what's up? What's up? Oh my god. <laughs> yo, yo, what have you just felt right there? <laughs> Yeah, man, this pond. I mean, I heard some really good things about it. Hopefully, I can catch my first fish today through the ice. I've never caught a fish to the ice. Freaking stoked, man. Let's get it. Yeah, boy, this is thick. Oh, this is thick, dude. <laughs> it's a little slippery there. Yeah. No, but this is thick, man. This is Don't worry, I'll cut that out. <sighs> All right, guys, Tim still drilling holes over that way. Leo's getting set up here. Basically, what I am going to be using here, as you guys know, my little dock demon rod. I have a little fluger reel on there. And then Leo was kind enough to give me one of these little tungsten jigs right here, a little pink color. And then we, uh, what, what the heck did he say he called these? These little maggots? The little maggots? What do you call them? Maggots? Maggots. <laughs> Spikes. Oh, spikes. Spikes, all right. Oh yeah, it says it on there. I'm st <laughs> it says spike, all right. Put it through the tip right there. Yeah, man. I like this hole over here. This is the hole, dude. Oh yeah, that's the hole? It's calling my name. Dude. Ah, whew. All right, guys, no fish so far. Leo did actually catch one bluegill. I'm fishing some deeper water right now, but it's just like so interesting being out here right now because you could literally hear the ice melting around you. Like it, it almost sounds like it's raining. It is like so interesting. It's not like really soothing though. It's putting me to sleep. Oh, Tim got a nice fish, looks like. What is it? It's a bluegill? I marked so many fish all over the place here. Right? <laughs> They're right on top of you right now. Yeah, he's marking some right now. I got him. There you go. There you go. No Ooh, perch. There you go. Is that small for around here? Yeah. Dude, dang man. Tim's killing it out here. He already got he got two perch. Yeah, yo, what's going on here? Three to one to zero, man. I, I gotta set my game up, man. I got my first ice fish ever. That's a nice perch. Well, I just got a bite. That was definitely a bite. Oh, well, I'm getting bit. Oh, there we go. I'm on. There we go. Come here. Ah, let's go. Let's go, dude. First ice fish ever. Dude, that's a nice bluegill right there. Of course it's a bluegill. Dang, man. That is so freaking sick. Oh, dude, I'm literally so happy right now. That's first, fish on the ice, right? first ever fish on the ice. Courtesy of Tim Galati, man. <laughs> Coming out here showing us the places, man. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a bluegill. Yeah, I got him on a little jig head and a little spike. Looks like he got some parasites on him. Yeah, that's beautiful, dude. Yeah, you got a lot of parasites. Jeez. Should you eat fish from here? <laughs> Boom. There you guys go, man. First fish on the ice. I'm actually let this guy go and bring him over here. This little hole. <sighs> Buddy, you are my first fish ever through the ice, man. You you are a prized, prized possession here. Let me uh, put you back. There he goes, man. Let's go get some more. But yeah, I got to see that real quick. Those are some nice birds, man. They definitely have a little belly on them. Oh, Jesus. Cool. <laughs> Easy. Easy, dude. 
Come on, take it. Just take it. There we go. There we go. I'm on. That feels a little bit better than the first one. Come here. What are we? Oh no! Ah! It was a bluegill. Yeah, it popped off right at the ice. It's all right. I'm pretty sure it was just a bluegill. It was, it was definitely a sunfish. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. No, 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 no. Dang it. You tried to get it. Ah. <laughs> It's all good. I'll get it again. All right, guys. So pretty much that would have been my second fish here today. I've been struggling, man. I've been struggling. I only got one up so far. Leo got a couple. I think Tim. Tim has just been killing it over there, man. He has so many freaking fish. Hopefully, uh, yeah, man. Hopefully we can get some more here. Pretty much, guys. I did end up catching my very first fish through the ice today, man. I cannot be happier about that. It is just. It's just something like it's so much different than catching a bluegill like during the summer is it's a lot more rewarding like i spent a lot of hours for that one freaking fish there you guys didn't see the first ice fishing session i did that was up in the poconos i got skunked but here i actually did end up catching some fish a fish leo had some luck and tim man tim absolutely killed the fish here man he, he just he went off man he had the hot hole man you guys just go check out his video it should be up here if it's not already it will be up in a few days the cool thing about this now we got some fish we got some perch some bluegills some stuff like that and now we are going to be doing a catch and cook all right guys now we're going to get into this little catch and cook portion of this video right here as you guys know tim slayed like all these fish man he caught like so many so right now we're going to cut them up and then we're going to cook them over on i think we're going to cook them on the fire so this should be pretty good man he's a he's a chef He's a, he's a master chef. All right, let's get this started. This is uh, this your cooking channel fire pit right here. All right, guys, there we go. There's some yellow perch and some bluegill that Tim laid up right there. He was slaying that earlier. How are we going to start this? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> There's absolutely no way this is going to work. <laughs> it's like snowing and stuff. Interesting. I would be extremely surprised if something like this worked. I'm telling you, man. Need some gasoline. We have gasoline. It'll go out in a heartbeat. <laughs> it was like a little little flame right there. Is it still going? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> a tiny little flame. That'll probably cook it, right? Oh, it's snowy day. Straight for savage gasoline right there. We should probably move this back a little I'm further. Saying, dude. Yeah. I got real paper if this doesn't work. I don't know if that's gonna work. Alright, it's out. <laughs> One second. <laughs> I don't know what type of catch and cook we're doing here at the Galati residence. <laughs> but I have not touched that fish, man. It's just not this, right, man. This is a deathly catch and cook right here. Ooh. That'll be interesting to yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna eat that either. <laughs> no, no, don't put it more. It's gonna explode. <laughs> there's snow on the gasoline. <laughs> no, dude, it's gonna explode. I don't know dude. if that's a good idea. Yo, don't do that, man. <laughs> this is just a small catch and cook scale, man. You put too much gasoline. There's like three per. Up, man. I'll just stay back it's a little bit. It's gonna be lit, like legit lit. All right, I'll stay back a little bit. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> there we go, dude. There we go, man. Hey. Do some cooking. Oh, you see? Definitely not survival fishing right here. Oh, yo, yo, you gotta put the olive oil in. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, the olive oil going in. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, man. That's beautiful right there. <laughs> have one of, uh... I can't believe oh, yeah. that worked. Still the pan? Yeah. All right. That oil is getting hot, dude. Yeah, dude. dude this is the catch and cook that happens when you come to Tim Galati's house, man. <laughs> chef Galati. We're leaving the cooking to the chef, Chef Galati. Ow. Yeah, yeah, now we're talking. Yeah. There we go. That's legit, that's legit. A little bit of paper just threw in the oil. Good, uh, get a little flip here. With a spatula here, look at that. It's looking good, it's not burning. The meat is falling apart. Because the fish is two days old. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, it should it should have a legit flavor, you know? Ooh, there you go. Yeah, good stuff. All right, a little bit more. Gets a little bit crispy, you know? It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, man, it's perch. And, uh, and bluegill. Is it done, man? It's done, man. Well, let me get around this. Look, this is this is legit right here, man. Chef Leo's Tim Galati Savage Perch and Bluegill. <laughs> yeah, all right, guys. So there's yellow perch in there, and there's a little bit of bluegill. I'm not sure if I really explained that too well. 
I have had bluegill before. As you guys know, I did a bluegill like catch and cook before, but I have never had yellow perch. And as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys saw that, it is like really, really snowing out. It was just like sleeting, like icy rain, but now it's I snowing. No, there's, there's plenty of snow in this oil too. Yeah, <laughs> it's snowing all in our fish, but it's all good, man. All right, let's get out of here. <sighs> Definitely sketchy catch and cook. We did not even know if that was actually gonna work. Fish, man. <laughs> Hopefully it's gonna be good though. Dude. Let me get a close up on that. Sure. Oh yeah. Which one's the perch and which one's the bluegill? Uh, the bigger pieces. Wait. I think the bigger pieces are the bluegill and the smaller pieces were the perch that fell apart. All right, dude. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I don't freaking die. Yeah. I don't know why that tastes like bacon, dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That tastes like bacon. So get a bigger piece, dude. Maybe right it's because it was a small piece. Hold on, you gotta try it before I get a bigger piece. It's got a lot. No, of no, 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 dude. You were the this guest. This is good. You were the guest of honor, <laughs> my man. No, no, you were the guest this of honor. This is a Beauty dude. and the Beast. <laughs> you guys gotta try it now. It's pretty good. It tastes like bacon. All right, Tim, you got the peak. Maybe it's because we wait, put wait, a lot wait, wait. of salt Big on piece, it. man. Big piece, Tim. <laughs> Which one do you think that was? The bluegill or the perch? I have no idea, but it was good. It's good, right? Yeah. Did it taste like yeah. bacon? <laughs> kind of. Yeah, it, I, maybe it's because we put a lot of salt on it or something. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. It's, right. le it's legit, right? Get right, a bigger piece. Ready? You'll taste the fish. Oh, yeah. This piece right here. This piece. This piece is pretty legit, right? Yeah. There you go. Pretty dude. legit. Pretty. Or, or you prefer me to this piece right here? Oh yeah, that one, dude. This one. Yeah, this one. Nice thick one right there. This is two day year old fish, man. You're yeah, fine. <laughs> all right. All right. The texture all right, goes yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, all right, man. I mean, you know what doesn't kill us makes us stronger, right? <laughs> Got to spill away later. Oh no, this is legit, dude. It's good. Did you? That's what's up, man. <laughs> Thank you, the whole plate, man. <laughs> this is what's, what's up, up man. This is what's up. There we go, man. That is the uh, savage catching cook. Eat this piece right here. For real. No, eat this piece. Tim Galati. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. No, this is good, man. Yo. Eat a thicker piece, dude. Yo, for real. Yeah, eat, eat, eat that piece right there, dude. This thicker piece? Yeah, yeah. Eat it, man. It was good. You just want me to eat it, so if you, you get sick, I get sick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll be fine, man. You can taste the fish on the thicker pieces. Mm -hmm. It's good, right? Yeah. Yeah, man. It just good. tastes less like bacon, more like a little... It, it tastes like it's fish. It tastes pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Tim, man. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Tim. The chef right here. <laughs> Olive oil, man. <laughs> and charcoal and gasoline. All right, guys. Well, that, I mean... I mean, that's pretty much it here for this little catch and cook. I think we're about to go fishing right now. Whew. All right, man. It was definitely interesting. <laughs>